Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at quite possibly not just the coolest thing I've ever been sent, but actually probably one of the coolest things that I own. Um, so a little while ago, I did a video on this little beast right here. This is a flash cart that was made for the Supervision. Now, obviously, uh, as you probably know, I'm quite a big fan of handhelds and knockoffs and stuff. I've got a little uh, game child up here in the corner that's um, basically probably what started all of it. Uh, a supervision is something that I'm sure you may have may not have heard of. This is the Watara version, uh, but there was also one by Quickshot and um, Video Jet and a bunch Hartung, a bunch of other people made it. But this one is uh, probably the most sort of similarly resembling the uh, the Game Boy. So this flash cart, as you can probably imagine, has every single game made for the supervision on it, apart from one. And uh, it's a very, very cool little thing. It's been very well made. I have absolutely no idea how this guy got all of the ROMs and not did he, did he not just get all the ROMs, but he put them all onto a cartridge, which somehow works. I have no idea how he's done it. Um, absolutely excellent. Uh, and everything, you know, works seamlessly. It's almost as if... Um, it's the original game. You have there's nothing that could tell you possibly uh, this that you're not playing the original game because obviously it's just loading the ROM onto a more accessible bit of memory on the um, cartridge, and then it just plays and runs normally like everything else. There's no emulation. There's nothing like that. It's just perfect, um, an absolute treat. However, as I mentioned. Uh, it, there is one game that it does not have on there, and that is a game called Journey to the West. Now, Journey to the West was a game that was released alongside of another supervision called the Magnum Supervision, which looks incredible and very, very fancy and very futuristic and very, very different to the original supervision. Now, the supervision Magnum ran all of the supervision games, including Journey to the West, but the supervision did not run Journey to the West. It's just, a, a, I don't know why, we don't know why. Uh, there's very, very little information about it at all. There's uh, really, really nothing at all out there. Um, and they're very, very hard to find and get a hold of. There's a couple of videos um, of them on YouTube, but nothing uh, really in sort of high quality. Um, so what's inside this box? I'm sure you've guessed it. It is a ROM of Journey to the West. God knows how this guy got it. God knows how he also managed to somehow scan the artwork because inside this very nice leather case, which also came with my um, multi-cart, is the sticker pack to make your own Journey to the West cartridge. Now, I have no idea how he's done any of this stuff. I, did, I was not expecting him to send me this. All he said is that he sent me something. This video is not sponsored. Um, I'm just a massive bloody fan of the Supervision, so for this to be in my collection is insane. And obviously, I do not have a Supervision Magnum on my table. He managed to get it work with the original Supervision. How? I just don't understand how people do this stuff. Um, absolutely incredible work. Very... Um, intuitive engineering and I, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Obviously the box is very, very cool. Um, here is the actual cartridge itself. Now one thing he does not include um, in this box set is a replacement shell for the cartridge. Now I've got a copy here of Christ Ball. Obviously it's meant to be some, some, something like Crystal Ball or Christ Ball, I don't even know what it is. Um, but we're gonna be putting this in here and then showing you how well it runs. So I don't know how to go about doing this. I've got quite a few copies of Crisp Ball, so I'm not too worried. Uh, but let's just go ahead and see if we can pop inside here. I haven't tried to see if there's any screws underneath the label, which to be honest, could have been a good place to start. And yeah, would you look at that? There is a screw under there. Wowzer. Okay, there we go, we're in. Four screws later, I'm an absolute idiot. <laughs> oh right, so I managed to get all of the sticker residue off of the cartridge and I think it looks pretty good right now. It's looking just like a fresh factory piece of plastic. Very nice. Uh, what we're gonna do is chuck the motherboard in here and then whack the top piece on, all good. Um, he did message me, the guy who makes this, by the way, A2 Heaven. I'm not even sure. 
I've mentioned that yet. A2heaven.com is the place to go to find out about all of this good stuff. The guy who makes this said that he is going to include an instructions um, card or whatever to uh, help you guys out uh, with this should you want to put your PCB in a cartridge, which I'm sure most of you probably will. Um, and by most of you, I mean probably about four people interested in the supervision. Um, but uh, nonetheless, he's also gonna hopefully have uh, an actual instruction manual of the game. Apparently there is someone out there who has the game as well as the instruction manual um, and he's just trying to get in contact with him in order for him to scan it so that he can uh, you know, make an, a nice little instruction manual of the actual game uh, to include in the package. So yeah, we are almost there. We've got a couple of stickers to stick on. Uh, very, very nice touch, you know. I think uh, the guy who, you know, sent me this said, that, oh, look, he's actually included two of them. Oh, that's bloody brilliant. Okay, so if I'm not happy with, uh, you know, how, how I do one of them, then at least I've got another one. And these look like high quality pieces of, uh, of sticker here. This is like, almost like a sort of a fabric as opposed to a plastic. You can actually almost see like weave um, textures in it. So yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, so I think he said it's going to be 50 uh, bucks shipped uh, around the world. Pretty good international shipping included, uh, $50, a very reasonable price if I do say so myself. Um, I've not stuck that down very well, which is slightly worrying. Uh, I'm going to go for a different method of doing this. I'm going to go for the old uh, bottom to the top. Okay, that went better. Happy days. Look at that. Journey to the West. Supervision cartridge. Never did I ever think I was going to have that in my hands. Holy mackerel. This is possibly the rarest uh, handheld game in existence. Um, I've never ever seen one on eBay and I've been searching for many, many years. So there you go. Stick the little uh, A2 Heaven sticker on the back there as well just to you know give it the uh, the nice sort of effect. And bloody hell, look at that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, right, let's get all of this rubbish. Oh, let's not spill the isopropyl alcohol. That would also be good. So let's go ahead and chuck this in. Oh my goodness gracious me, I'm so excited. This is going to be insane. The viewing angles on this thing is insane. I can literally see it from here. Um, so here we go. Let's get this volume up. Okay, so we've got a sort of a map here of a few different places. Then there's some text, it's all in Chinese. Okay, there is also an English translation. So it says, Shu Wu Kong goes into the peach orchard and jumps up onto the trees to... Oh, it's gone. Let's read this a heck of a lot quicker. Shu Wong goes into the tree, peach orchard and jumps onto the trees to collect the golden hooped compliant rod. He passes the eagle's sorrow gorge and meets the great white dragon in which he has to fight it or something. There was a bunch of spelling mistakes. That was a struggle. Okay, let's get that down a little bit more. Okay, so this doesn't look very RPG-esque to me, um, but here we go. Okay, so it did say something about jumping into trees, so let's go ahead and do that. I like the soundtrack, it's very nice. Oh, okay, I got hit by a bird and fell out of the tree. Okay, there's an arrow, like a sort of a hand pointing upwards, so let's go upwards. I've got the compliant rod. Take that. Okay, so we've got the compliant rod. Yes. Go away, Siri. Okay. So we've got the compliant rod. Oh, there's a snake here. Goodness me. Oh, we're getting we're getting hurt, hurt quite badly. Why is there a snake appeared out of nowhere? There's a snake in my boot. Okay, the snake is dead. The snake is dead. We've done it. We've killed the boss. Okay, the music is good, but it gets a little bit repetitive. Although, this for a supervision game, by the way, is has been very, very intuitive so far. Okay, that now we've got a tiger. Oh. So you sort of have to, like, run around and 
fight things. And then just bop them on the head with your with your compliant rod. Oh, wait, is the tiger dead now? Yes, okay, the tiger is dead. I don't really want to kill a tiger, so that's a bit of a shame. Okay, we're going to continue onwards. Here we go. Okay, we're walking off the screen now. This has got to be something good. Here's that dragon. It's the, it's the dragon in which we need to fight it. I just spat on the screen. Oh, we're floating now. We're floating around on a, on a cloud. Okay, let's try and kill this... Uh... This is where these supervision's four individual buttons becomes quite the challenge. Oh man, I literally died. Wait, what? This is so difficult. It's really difficult because he's spitting balls at me. I don't know what sort of balls they are, if they're tennis balls or ping pong balls, or if they tried to, to animate fire and they just couldn't do it. I don't know. My thumb is getting RSI. <laughs> what is going on? Take that. No, 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 I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Yes. That is it, we've done it. We've done it. We've killed the white dragon. Okay, now there's an arrow. Whoa! Whoa, it just turned into a horse! <laughs> what? Okay. Shi Wong defeats the great white dragon. A cold headed protect a gold headed protector appears and turns the dragon into a white horse to serve as a priest Tang Sang Zhang mounts for the rest of his journey to the west. Well, there we go. We've got the title in the text there, Journey to the West. Okay, so does that mean we now have... Wait, now I'm a pig and I have a pitchfork. And a Mario, and a Mario vine has appeared. What? What? Can you see why the supervision didn't sell many units? Because the, the games are so incompetent. I don't understand what's going on here. I've just turned into a pig. What happened to Shu Wong Yenkeng? Yes, he's almost dead. Maybe after I kill this vine, it will ma be made all clear. Yes, okay, the vine is dead. The vine is dead. Now I should get my answers. Whoa, now the birds are pooing on me and I'm taking damage. Oh my god, if you if you were to close your eyes and just listen to this video, now I'm just walking across acres and acres of land whilst getting pooed on by birds. Okay, we got to the other end. Oh, whoa, don't jump, Mr. Pig. I jumped. Wait, have I got to fight that now? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's Aquaman! Oh, I died. What on earth just happened? <laughs> Oh my lord, what an absolute trippy game. I don't understand what was going on during that, but I enjoyed it and I liked it and I want to do more of it. Um, okay, what an experience. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and taken a look at quite possibly the weirdest and also rarest game known to ever exist. I have now got a copy of it. Okay, it's not a legit copy of it. Hopefully that is indicated by that. And uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. For some people, obviously, this is not going to be very interesting at all because the Botara supervision is not something they collect. But if you enjoyed the video and you would like to find out more, go visit a2heaven.com and uh, check out the cool stuff on there. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.